What a train wreck. XCPC build stream. Yo, wide people happy. Guys. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, I'm reacting to his reaction. This is reaction. What a train wreck. XCPC build stream reaction. You're the kind of person who piles on when somebody's already having a bad time. But here's the situation. Okay. Twitch streamer XQC reached out to me a number of weeks back asking for help with a new gaming PC. I pointed out that I'm sure anyone and their dog would be happy to send him a free gaming PC in exchange for a tweet given his popularity, but I did offer my help if he really needed it. And then I promptly never heard anything about it ever again. Guys, I'm in my defense chat, guys, this this is how I treat the K other pe this, this is not it's nothing to do about them, okay? It's just uh, it's just a uh, life philosophy. Okay, I feel bad people that have to interact with me, okay? But this is how bigger streamers, uh, uh, celebrity Andes, any YouTuber, smaller sh this is how anybody interacts with me, dude. This is just how it's just how I deal with things. I don't know why. It's just how it is. Till I was streaming today, and you guys wouldn't stop talking about how apparently horrible his build was. So given that I did offer to help, I will, with no guilt it's whatsoever, not ego. What? be critiquing I don't select. XQC's PC build. I've never done a reaction video before, so wish me luck. Just like I feel lucky to tell you about our sponsor, Ridge Wallet. <gasps> Cool. Ridge Wallet wants to redefine the wallet with its compact frame and RFID blocking plates. Check out how they can keep your wallet bulged down and use offer code Linus to- Hold up, let me just fix, it, fix the volume. Remember the volume earlier? I, I kind of bugged it. Um, it was over here like this and like that and this should be good to go. Save 10% and get free worldwide shipping. We're building this bad boy. That's if you able to run Minecraft at unlimited FPS. Uh, is that my face? It That's is. my face. <laughs> Why is my face on his stream? Okay, first things first. Um, yeah, I want to unbox everything, but... First things first, I'm going to set myself up on the carpet. Now, we did show recently in our collab with Electroboom that the risk of actually damaging your components with electrostatic discharge is pretty low, but I probably still wouldn't go out of my way to sit on a low pile carpet and Unbox computer hardware. So motherboard goes first. I got a ROG Crossair VIII formula, dude. Line of catch this is a very overpaid computer, okay? Some of these parts were really way more expensive than they should have been, but it's COVID and whatnot, so it is what it is, man. Is he actually gonna water cool? Cause that motherboard has like integrated chipset water cooling. First we'll open the actual CPU itself. What? I don't I know what I don't know what he just said. This is usually like 900 bucks, but this was like a 1.7k because of uh, scalpers, kills a weird man. He paid $700? Oh. But there's no, real, there's no real alternative. Okay. Now, this is the piece that is worth all the money right here. <laughs> Little metal bracket up. Oh my god, this must be how people feel watching me handle stuff, like seemingly not carefully. I assure you guys, I know what I'm doing, but I'm not actually convinced that. Felix knows what he's doing. Ooh, I'm confused. Oh, that got it. You gotta, you gotta pull out from the thing. Okay. Okay, put the arm the other way. Also, what's important here, the most important part of all this, is the bragging rights. So whenever you build yeah. a PC, you all those stickers, whenever you buy these boxes. Okay, he's joking about this, but I actually have like a whole sticker book with like a, a shiny kitty on the front of like old case badges from yeah. like, like, way back like 10, 15 years ago. 128 gigs of RAM juicers. So these sticks are... Sorry, this the word juicers. He's now used <laughs> the word juicers twice. He's got 128 gigs of RAM in a gaming PC and he's calling them juicers. I'm really not sure I'm following so far. I want to try one PC setup with a really good computer. And if it's not, it doesn't work as well as I thought it would, well, I'm gonna kind of like break it in two and make two PCs with the, with the, my old PC and the new new parts and split in half and we're gonna get two PCs set up. Okay, I kind of understand what he's talking about here. So if this single computer gaming and streaming setup doesn't work, then he can take 64 gigs of this 128 yes! gigs of RAM, a lot for a gaming and streaming machine, and put it into a separate machine. Okay. Okay, let me do a little bit of explaining, boys. I know some of you guys already know this, okay, and you're like a, like a tech genius. So this is, um. I don't know why this computer doesn't have it, but normally you're gonna have two colors. Right. These are your channels. Uh, sometimes. Something called dual channel, I think, or something like that. 
Okay, that's very close. The memory slots are color-coded, so you will correctly install your dual-channel memory, but they're not color-coded according to the channels. It's actually the other way around. They're color-coded so that your monkey brain will put two sticks in the same colors and get dual-channel operation, but it's actually the two separate channels that are the same color. Dual-channel. Now you know. Open the bracket at the back. One, huh? two, three, four. Then we're gonna wedge the RAM inside the computer. It's backwards. Okay. This is normal. Don't worry about it. Everybody makes that mistake. I usually oh, put the, so uh, right uh, the side that doesn't have the lever on first. Now, on the one hand, he says I usually. Okay, and that's not even wrong to, to put it in the side that doesn't have the latch first. But he usually. But then, this is actually hard in scanning your thing and fucking Among Us, man. I'm telling you, dude. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I love the coaching yeah, from open. the background. <laughs> Do you have the lever open? Fortunately, it's so poorly put in that I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna break. I'm gonna lose it. Why does my face keep showing up? <laughs> is this like a Twitch feature? Stick number two. Twitch chat's already like call Linus. It's backwards again. <laughs> Dude. Okay, next is gonna be the M2 drives. Okay, what are cool technological advancement, boys? Uh, we don't have to have these, uh, see, this is like the old SSDs, which are- It's been nine minutes and he has installed the CPU and memory. Take very, your time. They're very pog. You don't wanna, but, they're very pog. Um, those are a little bit better. They're a little bit faster. They're, le they're less of a hassle to put in. Is this true? And thankfully, boys, we got two of them. He is in for a real nightmare if he wants to configure NVMe RAID on well, really any platform, but I know that is. I've done AMD's recently and it's not fun. I think there's a company called Rocket and they make those in like crazy storage, like. Okay, uh, Sabrent, uh, they have the Rocket lineup up to eight terabytes. Um, I think okay. that the M2 drives are hidden under here and I have to, to debolt it. Can I just say for a moment that I love the Quebecois of Englishing, debolt it. <laughs> Unscrew, debolt, who cares? Same thing, I'm just gonna debolt it. Deboltable like attachments. Transformer looking things like that. Oh, it's just a strip. <gasps> I've seen worse drops. These are like support yeah. bolts or whatever. Standoffs. And we're gonna go set it up. Are those SpongeBob socks? Cause I definitely approve. That really is in? not all the way in. Good thing Twitch chat is babysitting. Oh, he's, no, it's still not in. Is it not in? <laughs> okay. okay, I'm stupid. Overall, I've, se I've seen far worse. I've seen far worse. Now for the second one. Wait, is he gonna screw it in? Uh-oh, it's a dual bolt collider, dude. The X back, the, the, the X back plate. What? Guys, I had to screw in the fuck X back plate before the motherboard. No, oh, the back is fine. open. No? Okay. I... The bill I got the Kraken 7.3. Guys, I thought what? back in the days you had to put like a, like a weird thing at the back and put the X juicer and then bolt it from down to up. Chat recommended. I really don't know that I would buy a computer based on Twitch chat's recommendations. Pre-applied thermal paste. People say it's bad. Uh, I don't necessarily agree. I kind of like it. People say it's bad. Nobody says pre-applied thermal paste. Yeah, people say that. Self-applied paste. Not because I'm lazy. Actually, it's just because I'm lazy. And that's a triple radiator. Wait, why is he trying to put it in the top? Dude, it actually doesn't fit. I can see his Twitch chat right here. Telling him to call me. No shot, it goes inside. What the f are you talking about, man? Up until this point of the video, I kind of thought he was just playing a character, because he would be like, oh yeah, it's kind of called this, so I don't know, and then proceed to completely correctly explain what it is, pretty much. But now I'm just really not so sure. You remove the case. I have to remove, mount. Does he not know that you can remove side panels? Dude, it can't mount, it's too big. Yeah, this just doesn't fit. It just, it just, it just doesn't. He's gotta be, he's gotta be just pretending. Like, I think you guys are just yeah. suckers. I'm guys, pretty sure. I always pretend for content, guys. The computer just fine. Guys, if removing the case fans is a f***ing hassle. So he 100% knew that he can put the radiator in the front. He just didn't want to remove 12 screws. To, I'm gonna read but the message I sent him. <clears throat> It's possible we could get you hooked up with a system and we'd love to collab, but surely you'd have at least half a dozen system integrators on speed dial who could get you anything you want. If you're not in a hurry, it'd be a fun project, but we're still undergoing renovations and not in a position to tackle anything big like the Creeper PC we built for Pewds at the moment. 
If you're in a hurry, it may be faster to just get hooked up with a PC builder. Just let me know. Email's best for me since this is a shared inbox with many other staff here. If you wasn't willing to remove 12 screws, why guys, the guys, it's not about the screws, chat. Is that in the PC? If it's if it's P, if it, the, if the fans come with the case, okay, you have to d um, you have to cut the wire holders and spit out, and all the wires go loose and it's crazy. Already pre-installed and pre-wired and already pre-settled, it's gonna be terrible to remove them. I just said that. No, it's gonna be twelve screws to remove. I I can't do anything. What? Oh, he doesn't know how to remove the front. You just gotta you gotta pop it. Just debolt the whole thing. Yes, I think we need to debolt the whole thing. Oh wow, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Guys, they're welded to the fucking mesh, dude. Oh my god, no, they're Oh, I bolt this thing over here. So I bolt this in at the top. <laughs> the speed with which he switches between Eureka moments and having no idea what's going on again. Okay, well this, it's this remarkable. is gonna be really tough. By the way, chat, this is literally soldered together. No. And re-screw our thing manually at the top so we can put the this CPU fan intake from the side. As and it was a magnet. This hole in the top is gonna push or some shit, I don't know. Again, he's demonstrating fairly deep knowledge. He knows that we're gonna have pull fans at the front and we're gonna have Guys, push fans at the back. The reason why I sort of know, in depth sort of not, because one of my brother would build PCs, he would tell me about it, but I would only remember certain parts. He said, yo, dude, the computer uh, airflow push-pull, push-pull. It's gonna push, suck fresh air and push hot air out. Balanced airflow. But then he thinks his case is welded together. I don't... Wait a minute. It doesn't fit. Of course not. All you had to do was you just had to leave the fans exactly where they were and just put the screws that came with your radiator through them. We need to go way back to basics and do a four beginning. Wait a minute. Wait, that makes sense, dude. I can just debolt them, leave them there. No, but even if I put the radiator on, it's the GPU still wouldn't fit though. Beginners build, like really for beginners. We need to bring in a committee of qualified beginners to ask their questions as we go and make sure that we answer every single one of them. Dude, there's not enough space for three of them. Why is he trying to put three fans there? Is he faking it? Because he Wait, came with three of them. No, it doesn't go like this, okay, does he it? Turns it around. Now it's an intake. Well, the fuck, it's going through the plastic. <laughs> I spun this thing the both ways, and you guys said both wrong side of both times. <laughs> what the fuck are you on about, dude? The radiator should fit in here. Yes, it does. All right, we got the radiator in. Okay, why would you have the tubes down? Aren't they gonna work against gravity, dude? Fun fact, in a closed loop, gravity kind of is like canceled out. You could think of it that way because gravity might pull some of the water down, but then that equal force will push the other water like up, like it's- Wait a minute. Yeah, but wouldn't you want gravity to be doing that process and on top of the pumping, instead of doing that motion through mechanical pumping entirely? Doesn't really matter. Somebody said tubes down won't fit with the GPU. Longer lifespan of the product. Got it. I actually don't know if that's gonna reach with the tubes on the bottom. I, I know it's like more optimal for the pump to last longer, but it actually just might not reach. Oh! And then you install the thing on the bracket, and then you bracket it in. There we go. Ah. Uh, wire. No, it's not the same size, dude. No, no, it's fine. You got the other holes. It's okay. It doesn't fit, dude. It does. It's fine. Well, we're gonna be using those then. Then we have to use those then. People are gonna tell him to flip it around, right? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. The pace is, oh, the pace is gone. Oh my God. No that way. Stuff is impossible to clean. This one. No, no, it doesn't go on that side of the. Now, how do we do it? What? Wait, is he gonna put one Corsair fan and then like other NZX2? Dude, the fans are on the wrong side, man. Guys, the wire's on the other side. Fans can go on any side of the radiator you want. 
They, they, it doesn't matter if they're on this side, then they blow, and if they're on this side, then they suck. It's it. The wire goes inside the computer. This yes. goes on the outside. Good. This is gonna hang the whole thing together. Yes. The fans then need to go inside the fucking really. bracket. It doesn't matter. So like this then. That's fine. The bracket goes at the back, and okay. then the bracket goes inside okay. at the back. Logo <laughs> outside. Punks yes. Inside. Okay, okay. I had it right the whole time, dude. I literally from the start. Mm, I don't know if you had it right the whole time, but yes, fundamentally what you're saying is sound. So the logo, uh. the sticker, uh, the, the on the hub, okay, that points towards the direction the air goes. This is this is fine. I need to say NZXT on the way upwards. Wait. Over the radiator. This is like So radiator facing outside the case. It is completely installed just fine. I mean, the fans, the cables are coming off in a way that the cable management is gonna suck, but like it's it's mostly fine. It only fits this way, I think. No, he does have the tubes at the top. So yes, the fans are sticking right up next to the window. Okay, I mean, that's not gonna affect the functionality of the machine. ROG Strix Gaming Graphics Card GeForce RTX 3090 NVIDIA ASUS or OC O'Clock 2040 GPU Juicer. <laughs> there it is. I don't think that's gonna fit. Okay. That thing, that's an enormous card. If it wasn't COVID, I would just fly out there and build it for him. I can't fuck screw it. It's actually not lined up. Oh, that no, that's fine. You just gotta, you just gotta kind of, you know, get the screw in there and kind of, you know. Dude, I'm pushing right now. I can see how that would be really confusing for people. Uh, I think this case is just trash. <laughs> I mean, look, and even then, even then, the GPU okay. slot doesn't. I mean line up dude unless you're meant to use the squares part but I don't think so no please don't do that no that's not necessary you just don't get there dude look at the holes look at them <laughs> so much anchor you're not gonna fit this in there I mean yeah, no, I just thought about this. This is fucking dumb. It's not like he has a completely invalid point. The manufacturing tolerances of computer cases and the way that PCI backplates sometimes don't quite have the mounting holes lined. You know what? I figured out what was the problem. If I debolted the motherboard a little bit, a tiny bit, and I loosened it, and I pushed the whole motherboard to the side and then rebolted it, it would have given, given me a, a bigger uh, a play zone. To, to get the screws in. Enough can be extremely frustrating, especially for a new builder. And I can see how if you've spent, you know, two grand on a graphics card, you don't want to be like, like pushing and pulling on it. But the reality of it is a lot of the time when I'm manhandling stuff and I seem really careless. And actually, it was a 2.8 grand. I, I'm actually just like kind of doing what you need to do. You gotta have, you gotta put some force on it sometimes. You gotta understand that the kinds of costs that PC case manufacturers are targeting, it's just, it kind of comes with the territory. Okay, I'm gonna rebox some of this stuff. Uh, I can't chat with you in your case. There you go, Corsair. Honest consumer review, your case, a disaster. The good news is I don't think any of this stuff is broken. Okay, now I feel worse because at the beginning, it was pretty clear that he was just pretty much knew what he was doing, but was kind of like playing a character. Then by the end, it's obvious that he was ready to huck the GPU at the wall. Uh, so Felix, if you're watching this, I my am. offer still stands. I DM'd you. I would be happy to walk you through this. We can make that case work. You can, you can destroy that case, get rid of it, do whatever you need to do, donate it, get a different one. But um, just let me know. Cause uh, I'm I'm here for you, my my fellow. So the case was a disaster. Does he agree? Does he agree that the case is a disaster? Is that is that what he said? I'm pretty sure he agreed, right? Oh, Canadian. Just like I'm here for my audience to tell them about FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the easy to use accounting software specifically designed with you in mind, the small business owner. FreshBooks has everything you need to manage your books, including invoicing, expenses, time tracking. I'm gonna send it to him tonight. I'll, I'll ask him what would be the best case for that current build. I, th I thought the fractal was pretty good. More. And it's got built-in automation, so you can spend less time invoicing, expensing, and tracking projects, and more time doing cool. what matters most. Then I'm gonna right now and use code. So whether you're a tradesperson, creative agency, or YouTuber, they've got a plan that's right for you. And if you're having trouble, their award-winning Toronto-based support team is always happy Very to help nice. you. Very nice. 
So don't wait. Try FreshBooks for free for 30 days today. No credit card required at freshbooks.com slash Linus. Normally at the end of our videos, we throw to another similar video we've made that you can go enjoy, but since we- Fractal, yes, have never bite, done we can match. Oh, okay, because you have one. Makes what I have right now. Like this before, why don't you go watch Linus Reed's mean comments? They are mean. I'm not really the- Well, that was very nice. Okay, guys, he didn't roast me too hard. Guys, he, guys, he didn't roast me too hard, by the way, chat. Guys, I was, guys, you didn't follow the Secret Verge text, first of all? You're gonna need a table. Oh, true. How hard can it be? If Linus can do it, it's your fault, Linus. You made it look easy. True. Guys, I'm not subscribed. Guys, this yeah, this, this is my a business account, boys. This is, this is a business account. Dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to. I, I didn't mean to. I just thought you... I, I don't know why it... I, I wish I had colors for this, dude. I'm not, I never like or dislike videos. Guys, I don't know how to explain it, okay? And even if I did, you would still question mark me, okay? I don't know what it is about communicating with other people. Smile, I, I, smile, I just, smile, I'm smile, just smile, not smile, smile. The, uh, the best communicator. Like, uh, Five months somebody will show interest or they want to help, whatever. Well and, and, all, and all of a sudden, one DM, and then, and, then, and then my, my brain starts jamming. And then I end up not replying to anybody.